Um, but the important I'll, point that I, I I just want to underline: all these folks, the free speech folks yes. that were also in the Kyle Rittenhouse, you know, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, 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 celebration committee, they will support this. Yep. Uh, some maybe some of them on the edges will see that it's untenable, but a lot of them will support this, or they will shut up about it and not say shit. Okay. How? This guy is so stupid. Like, I don't know how he can speak without suffocating because he forgot to take breaths in between words. Okay. Mm -hmm. The free speech people generally say, hey, we don't like that when someone makes a joke or has a different opinion about some political issue that they should be fired forever and blacklisted. Right. Like Sam None Cedar. Of the, right. None of the free speech people said, hey, I think you should be able to be a journalist and just fucking lie about people all the yeah. time, especially when those lies destroy their entire lives. It's almost like the whole point of the free speech people is saying, hey, I don't think that you should destroy people's entire lives. It's almost like it's a completely consistent position. Yeah. I mean, there are... Defamation laws. There are, I mean, do free speech absolutists, are they against defamation laws? I don't know. I've heard, I yeah. hear people call themselves that, but I don't know what it means. So for like the people that call themselves free speech absolutists, only like 10% of them actually are. Right. There's very few they, people yeah. in reality that are free speech absolutists because almost, and for good reason, because being an actually pure free speech absolutist is an insane position to hold. Yes, it seems like it. I mean, right. you would have to give up defamation laws, right? I right, mean, because, well, not only that, you're giving up defamation and you're giving up property rights because you could no longer have copyright if you're a complete 100% free speech absolutist. Okay, interesting. Well, think about it. Yeah. That's, you, if you're a hundred, if you're going to take, bite the bullet on 100% free speech absolutist, you have to be against copyright which is property rights. And so like we've talked to people who try to box us into this like straw man. I'm like, I'm not a free speech absolutist. That's a position that's like tiny, some tiny amount of people are actually free speech absolutists. And so they try to straw man you into this ridiculous position. They try I love to debate that, lock you into defending this. But I love it that free speech is considered right wing now. It's like, oh, what yeah, the fuck? Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, talk about how stupid it is. They, they're literally, the left is literally ceding free speech to the right in the height of lunacy in this country. Yeah. Let's go burn some flags. Yeah. Right wingers. Get about it. Yep. That's a, frankly, a, a super pack for li uh, uh, libel laws uh, or libel legislation to go after news organizations for what? Calling him, for calling the kid who took a gun and killed somebody at Black Lives Matter rally a, a white supremacist. I'm sorry. I don't care what a judge of your peers or so-called thing. I don't, I don't respect that process. Like who gives a shit? Look, he doesn't, he doesn't respect rule of law. He's <laughs> like, I could care less. What do you want to yeah. go back to? Just like Judge Dredd? Come on. <laughs> he wants to go back. I love this. He's like some leftist dipshit on Sam Cedar is like, I don't respect uh, a jury of your peers. <laughs> fuck that. Fuck the, fuck the American legal system. I don't respect that. Yeah, it's insane. I just want to call people white supremacists uh, because I feel like it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, fucking asshole. Yeah, you're just a jerk. Yeah, people have their opinions. <laughs> right. Uh, it, I think it's fair to call someone a murderer when he murdered somebody. Yeah, I mean, like by the by, American justice system, not a murderer. I'm happy to uh, 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 you know stipulate that. But by in my eyes, he's a murderer, and he's a he's a he's a anti-black white supremacist murderer. Like, well, I don't know why you go to a Black Lives Matter protest with a gun and then just shoot people like that. And <laughs> These people, I just, I don't see how they don't understand oh why God. the right is calling all of them groomers now, just indiscriminately. It's right. just, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, this guy's a groomer. Yeah, I mean. He's a, he's a systemic groomer. If you want to, if you just want to go up and lie about people, they're going to start lying about you. Right. It's fucking, oh, you just, why, why, oh, man, why would he want to just go out and shoot people? Like, you know, Every, it's not like it's not like he was chased and his like life was threatened because a guy pointed a gun at him. No, no, no. He just went out there and he just wanted to shoot people, obviously. 
Every argument that he's making, though, can be made for calling people pedophiles and groomers. Yes. He's basically saying, I'm entitled to my opinion, dude. I can say whatever the fuck I want, okay? Right. Can, yeah. You're fucking, you're a pedophile, okay? You've right. raped like 10 kids, you fucking, that's my opinion. <laughs> Ironically, he's defending the actual yeah. pedophile in the, <laughs> in the case. Just what wacko world do we live in? It's They're so desperate for an argument. Yes. For any kind of argument for why this is wrong, that they're going to just this insane free speech argument. This isn't well, a free speech case. It's all elephant. It's th they look at Kyle, they see enemy team, enemy tribe, and then they desperately scramble to throw any argument they can to try to make it stick. And it just, it's so the Kyle Rittenhouse is the MPC test yeah. uh, for the left. It's one of the most obvious MPC tests around. To see whether you're a real person or not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> whether you have a writer or whether you just have two more elephants on top of your elephant. Watching watching them go to this stuff though. Yes. It's just it's I I just they they lose all credibility. They lose like there's just not I can't I can't give them even any just an ounce of credibility once no. they start Zero. going down this zero this train this yeah. yeah say whatever you want do whatever you want i mean it's difficult for me to put together what their their principles even are do they even have principles what do they care about their principles I mean, are that kyle is a racist and a white supremacist right so fascist. yeah anti-racism is their number one principle but like now they're trying to come out and say they're free speech absolutists but you know if anti-racism is your number one principle what do you think of people who want to toss around racial and homophobic slurs? Right. right? right All of a sudden, right. it's like, oh, now free speech. No. <laughs> right. Now that's not an opinion anymore, bitch. Right. Shut your mouth. Yeah. It's just none of these principles are consistent. No. You know, I and also, kill buddy, which results in a killing. So I'll call you but a killer. I also think, like, You're I a also, killer. I also think, like, uh, I, look at that. She's so. You're a killer. Well, she she realized she fucked up because she's like you're a murderer, and he's like, well, technically it's a legal term. She's like, oh, you're a killer now, you kill people. Right. Let me get it right. I think like Stephen Crowder is also like a white supremacist, and um, and so like if Stephen Crowder also wants to sue me, if we're just like suing about speech now, uh Stephen Crowder is a white supremacist now. I think that's a yeah. stretch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stephen Crowder makes cringy race jokes i mean he does yeah. yeah i don't think he should be deplatformed for that i mean no uh it's interesting the way the the free speech where free speech is gone yeah i mean there's no way for him to win this stuff like his team just sees as his, as his next grift in order to fundraise for some money there's a myth that the covington kids got like you know, completely made by this, but I think like you look at the numbers on that and it's not really as grand as what they kind of the victory as they like to suggest. I mean, I'm sure it's nice for them to have money after getting in the <laughs> face of uh, people on. See, that's the thing is soon. Like if I was in Kyle Rittenhouse's situation, I would go for the Facebook money first. And mm -hmm. like, if you got 200 million out of Facebook, I know they they say, I mean that's the number they've thrown around with Covington. I mean let's just say they he gets ten million. If I got ten million, I would still I would sue every I would sue this girl I would sue that guy off screen just to fucking do it. I'd be like, listen, right. I want to drop a thousand lawsuits on people. <laughs> I would I would use half the money just to do that. Right. Just to, just so this chick gets a letter in the mail going, yeah, I'm suing you. You know, write a check to an attorney, please. <laughs> it's such a nightmare. It's such a nightmare getting sued because, like, the first thing you have to do is hire an attorney. You're like, holy shit, I have to hire an attorney. If I don't respond to this, it's going to be a, like a summary judgment against me. Mm -hmm. So now she's... You know, on her phone, trying to look up local attorneys. <laughs> it's, I mean, don't you think? I mean, wouldn't wouldn't you go in that? I mean, I 
maybe it's I would. just me. Yeah. I would be I would be that petty. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be fun as hell. Yeah. Fuck these people. I mean, I would it's... include I would I would say write the write it up this way, okay? I want them to either you know, file a re like hire an attorney and file a response or they can go straight to their YouTube channel, make a video, here's the statement that I want you to say. You know, read this in front of a camera. <laughs> say this and we'll dismiss the suit. That's what say, I would do. I'm sorry, Mr. Rittenhouse. I was cringe. A oh, woo woo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 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 Please don't hit me in the right. dizzy with your lawsuit. Right. You have to wear a Make America Great Again hat when you do it. Yeah, there it. you go. <laughs> nice. Oh, God. I mean, that's why you go for the big money first. It really is. And then you're like, you're not trying to get any money out of this. You're just trying to get the video out because this is this is unconscionable what these people are doing. It's mm -hmm. evil. It is evil. I just, I mean, you you can make the case that it's not evil because these people are just stupid and it's just ignorance. But I swear more evil is foisted on the world every single day out of ignorance over malice. So right. much of the shit that we have to deal with is because of ignorance, not malice. People just doing dumb shit. And this is 100% right, dumb shit. The problem is it's not just ignorance. It's that they, because they want this to align with their tribal narrative, they purposely construct a cocoon of ignorance to justify it. Of course, yeah. They, yeah, motivated ignorance is what this is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they want to protect their narrative at all costs. They, they lost. They were wrong. 